Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna be playing around with a very long awaited part two of one of your guys' favorite collections. Today, we're gonna be playing around with the brand new ColourPop Pretty Guardian Sailor Moon collection. It says our long awaited second Pretty Guardian collection is finally here. Swipe on new cool tone shades and duo chrome hues inspired by the iconic Sailor Guardians. P.S. It perfectly complements the first Sailor Moon collection full of warm shades. So this is definitely like a companion collection to the first one. It's so crazy to look back now and see like life was so different when first Sailor Moon collection dropped. It was early 2020. It's kind of crazy now looking back at it. Like it seems like so long ago. I'm as crazy. But today we have a brand new collection. I'm showing you guys swatches, close-ups, doing a tutorial, review, all that good stuff. So if you guys are watching this, it is launching today, September 28th at 10 a.m. PST. As always, you guys can use my code. It is just Katrina and it'll save you 10% off the ColourPop website. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I was, I had very high expectations for this collection, especially after the first one. Um, and I do have thoughts on the collection, but we'll get into that in the review part of the video. But let's go ahead and get into the products and all that good stuff. First thing that we have is the Four Love and Power Pressed Powder Palette. This is what the Unicarton looks like. I'll put all the close-ups on the screen. Um, but the Unicarton has all of the Guardians on the front of them. And then the actual front of the palette itself is a, like, a little bit different than the actual Unicarton. So you do get two different designs. This is the front of the palette. And then when you open it up, this is what the inside looks like. Super pretty. Um, it has this little design up on top. And then we have the shades on the bottom. It says, be the most kawaii in the cosmos with 12 shades of celestial neutrals. Pretty pinks and bright pops of color in matte metallic, matte sparkle, pearlescent glitter, and duochrome finishes. So there are a mixture of different tones in here. One main comment that I saw on like Instagram was saying that like this is just another neutral palette. Not a neutral palette like at all. There is like one neutral in here but the rest of them are all very very cool toned. All the other comments I've seen are very valid. The only one I will say that like no this is not a neutral palette. This is very much a cool tone. Ooh, purpley kind of pastel looking palette for sure. There are really 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 pretty shimmers in here. I think the shimmers are definitely like the star of the show in this palette. Um, all of them are gorgeous but yeah there's definitely a mixture of uh, different shades of cool tones in here. A bunch of different like cool tone looks with this. Next thing that we have in the collection are pressed powder highlighters. Um, the Unicartons are super cute. We have uh, Luna and Artemis on the Unicartons for them. I know the actual um, components for the highlighters are both of them as well. Um, we have Moon Kingdom and Moon Light. It says, get a radiant moonlight glow with silky duochrome shades of opal pink and pinky violet inspired by Luna and Artemis. So, Moon Light is a very light frosty pink with like a blue purpley lavender shift to it. We have Moon Kingdom and this one is more of a pinky violet kind of like a purpley shift to it so they are more on the duo chrome side um so those are the two pressed powder highlighters next we have two cream gel liners in the collection we have crystal tokyo and Aba azabu juban i might be saying that wrong i'm so sorry cartons of these are really really cute though we have just like the normal pink packaging but on the side is all of their eyes and i think that's so so cute. This is my favorite packaging for sure on all of the products. Um, and then the actual cream gel liners themselves are just, you know, their basic packaging with little moon and stars on the lids. Um, it says fight smudge and smears with our waterproof creamy gel liners with 18 hour wear for looks that last. Crystal Tokyo is a really pretty like teal, a green yellowy shift to it. This is a really pretty liner. The Boo Juban, again, I'm probably butchering that. Um, is a really pretty like violet color. It's stunning. Love the cream gel liners. Then we have a Moon Crystal Power So Dewy Face Gloss. The unicorn on this is super cute. Again, I think this is one of my favorite packaging um, of the unicartons on all of them. It has the really cute design on the front and then it has some designs on the side as well. And then the actual face gloss. The logo on the front. And then this is a... It says, power up with our duochrome face gloss that shifts from a dreamy purple to a cosmic green. This is absolutely stunning. Like, the way it looks in the light is so pretty. 
and you could definitely see like the very strong green shift in here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this in the video. I used to like not be a huge fan of the face glosses, but I made it work in the video and I actually really like how it's looking. So that is the face gloss. Okay, last but not least, we do have two lip duos. We have the Celestial Powers and the Heroines Lip Duos. It says, transform your lips with our new and improved ultra blotted lip and ultra glossy lip that are ultra lightweight and ultra lip loving with ultra performance. In the duos, we have an ultra glossy lip and an ultra blotted lip in here. So in the Heroines one, we have Pretty Guardian and Sailor Star. Pretty Guardian is a really beautiful, like champagne-y, frosty, gold shimmery gloss and then sailor star is a really pretty like fuchsia pink kind of blotted lip and then since they are blotted they're really not as like intense as like a liquid lipstick you know and in the celestial powers ultra lip duo we have transformation and sailor fuku again i might be butchering that i'm so sorry um this gloss is a really pretty blue with like a gold greeny kind of shift in it this ultra blotted lip is a stunning like nude it's a really pretty wearable nude so definitely a look a lip duo in here for everyone that's everything in the collection it does say that this collection will also be at ulta i'm not exactly sure when or what the date is for that but if i find out i'll leave it in the description box down below for you guys um but yeah so like i said this does launch today i'll link it down below for you guys if you were interested in picking anything up and my code should work on the collection so if you wanted to use that you could definitely use it and save some money um but anyways yeah this is a look that i came up with today using the collections i definitely have a lot of thoughts on this collection so stay tuned for the review part at the end of the video um but yeah anyways i just want to see how i got this look right here and to hear my final thoughts on everything then just keep watching okay guys so i already did my base and everything so since most of the products are eyes and lips and like just the highlighters so I just got my base out of the way just to save some time um but let's go ahead and jump into the palette so we're gonna start off with her and then I'm gonna start I don't know like really what kind of look I want to do I kind of want to do something a little bit like softer but I don't know we'll see um I'm gonna start off with the shade Seeker Powers it's like that really light lavender shade. I'm gonna put this in my crease and I'm using this like as my transition shade. In such a light shade, it actually is showing up a lot on my eye. I don't know how much it's showing up on camera, but in person it's actually a lot brighter than I thought it was gonna look. Um so I'm actually really really happy with this color. It's a really really pretty like lilac lavender shade. I'm packing it on and then I'll blend out. The color's really pretty though. It's like a really nice starting point for the look I'm going for. So then I'm gonna go in with her destiny. It's this shade right here. And I'm gonna put that a little bit lower. This was more of a cooler lavender. Just putting that on this outer part. Yeah, for being light shades, they're pretty pigmented. Like, they go on really vibrant. Like, I can see the distinction between the two colors. They're not just kind of, like, blending together, which is nice. I really want to use... This shade is super, super pretty. It's called Starlight. It is... I believe this is a pressed glitter, or the pearlized glitter is in here. Um, and this shade is absolutely stunning. It's like a silvery purple i'm gonna put this on the inner corner not the inner corner i'm putting this on the inner part i'm telling you the pearlized glitter is just stunning look at that Ooh, this color is so pretty it's kind of like a silvery blue purpley shade that is gorge this color is so pretty you guys look at when i close my eye and like when the light hits it stunning i am like so obsessed with that pearlized glitter it's so pretty um okay i think i'm gonna go in with starry sky it's the really pretty blue shade in here i'm gonna put this right at the outer corner just putting that at the outer corner and kind of packing that on to create a little bit of like a liner but i'm not taking it all the way i'm just going about halfway i guess looks really pretty over that pearlized glitter so I did take it a little bit further in so just as like a regular liner you can definitely wing it out if you want to like a little pop of blue since it's still really soft and just like pastel and pretty but it does have a little bit of that pop of blue um and then since we're here let's go ahead and go into the lower lash line and the waterline I'm gonna take one of the cream gel liners I'm gonna take 
the purple one. I'm gonna put this in my waterline. And that goes into the waterline really nicely. And then for the lower lash line, I am gonna go in with her Destiny. Once again, that's the cool tone kind of um that's like the more cool tone lavender. I'm gonna just dust this all along the lash line. Connecting that to the top up here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Starry Sky and put that right at this outer part, connecting it to the top of the lash line. Kind of slightly just kind of create this like wing just to kind of match the outer corner right here. It's not anything super crazy, but it does just kind of help to connect to the top and the bottom. So far, I haven't had any fallout, so that's really good too. <laughs> Winging that out a little bit more because it does look really pretty winged out. I love how that turned out. That like slight liner that I created just ended up pulling the look together a lot. I love it. It just looks like really nice and smoky. Um, for the inner corner, I am gonna take Twinkles. It's this top shade up here. Ooh, that kind of has like a little bit of like a red reflect to it. Super pretty. I love that. That actually looks really, really cool. Okay, since so there are two highlighters in here, I am going to use Moonlight. This is the lighter one. I'm going to go ahead and take this down the center of my nose first to highlight it. This one kind of has like a bluish, pinky, purpley, kind of like a mix of like a blue, purpley, pink shade. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit of this on my cheekbones, just a tad. I don't really care for this color that much. It's kind of one of those highlighters that looks a little bit flat almost. It doesn't really have dimension to it. Um, I don't even really like it on like the, on my nose, but it's okay. We're just going to look past it. I'm actually going to highlight with one of the shades in the palette that I think is really pretty. This one is Friends Forever. It has a little bit more dimension to it. It's a little bit creamier. And it does have like a little bit of glitter in it. But yeah, see, I like that more. If I'm going to use a highlight, I want it to be more like that. It's going to be like a highlighter that's kind of like this formula where it's like, I don't know, like a little bit creamier and has some like dimension to it. Whereas I feel like with this highlighter, it almost is kind of flat. I mean, it has like a little bit of dimension to it, but it almost kind of looks chalky. Like, just a little bit. I don't really like it on the center of my nose, though. I don't know how to fix that, but we're just gonna ignore it. Actually, maybe I'll go in a little bit with that shade that I put on my cheekbones. Made it worse. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really like it on the center of my nose. It actually looks a lot more crazy now, but it's okay. Um... It's okay, you win some, you lose some. One of the So Dewy face glosses. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this like on my face, like through the day. Um, I would use it for like an editorial or like a photo shoot or like something for just, oh, just like photos. But I don't really like, I, I don't like like this kind of product on my face for like a like a whole day's worth. It is really pretty though, but yeah, I just feel like um, it's not really sticky, which is nice, but it's just not something that I would prefer to wear on a daily basis, but it does have this really pretty like kind of yellowy gold green shift to it. Um, but yeah, it isn't sticky, so if you don't mind, I, I just have like a really big texture issue, and this is just like not something that I would prefer to have on my face, maybe like a little bit if I just did like, like a tad maybe. Yeah, I guess it's not like that bad, but it's not something that I would typically use on an everyday kind of basis, but it does look pretty in pictures and stuff, but, um... Yeah, that's just like my little opinion on that. Um, but yeah, all we have left is lip products. So let me go ahead and finish up like my mascara and stuff and then we'll come back and do the lips. Okay, I went ahead and just put on some mascara. Um, and yeah, basically the whole look is done. I'm living for the eyes. I really love that like blue shadow. It's super, super pretty. Um, okay, let's go into one of the lip duos. I think I'm gonna use the Celestial Powers Ultra Lip Duo. This is the one with the nude and like the blue-ish gloss. Let's go in with this first. These are ultra blotted lips. So I love a nude lip. Let's see how this looks. 
cute. That one's actually really cute. I do like that one. Do I like it with this look? I don't think so. Let's try the other lip because this one, maybe a pink will look better. I go into the other lip duo. This one has like the pinks in here. Actually, yeah, I think I like this gloss more anyway than the blue one. Let's see what this looks like with this eye look. This one's called um, Sailor Star. Oh, okay, this is actually really cute. Maybe if we like tone it down a little bit. Kind of just like a stain. Okay, that's like a little bit better. It's like a little more pink than I would like. What if we mix the two? Let's see if we mix the two. I'm just trying to like give me a, a better lip option here. Is that better? Oh, you know what? Okay, I think I kind of like the two mixed. I kind of took away some of the pink one just to kind of make it more of like a stain. And then I went in with um, this one on top. And it kind of gives like a really pretty like muted pink tone. Um, and then I'm going to put one of the glosses over. This one is Pretty Guardian. Ooh, love that gloss. This gloss is stunning. Okay, I like the lip now. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I love this eye look. It's so pretty. I really, really love that blue shadow. It's so vibrant and it really does make a huge difference and brings so much attention to the eyes. So let me give you guys my final thoughts on this collection because I do have some thoughts. So starting off with the palette, I actually do really like it. I think it is a really pretty palette. I feel like you can create a like a bunch of different looks with it. Um, I like that it's more on the cool tone side. I know it's not like what most people were expecting, me included when I see like a Sailor Moon kind of collection. But either way, I think the palette is really pretty. That pearlized glitter that's on my lid is absolutely stunning. It is so, so pretty, and I feel like it's definitely, like, one of the standouts in the palette. The palette is gorgeous. I feel like you can't deny how pretty it is. Um, it definitely looks better in person than I feel like I've mentioned this before, like, in ColourPop's pictures that they posted. It's really pretty, but I guess, I, I get what people were saying where, like, they just weren't expecting this, like, color scheme when it comes to Sailor Moon, you know? Um, but I will say that I think the palette is the best thing in this collection, Everything else to me, you guys, to be completely honest, I don't really care for, which is crazy. I feel like, yeah, I don't really care for really much else in here. I don't really like the highlighters. Um, I felt like it was a little bit chalky on my skin and it just doesn't giving, it wasn't giving like that dimension um, that I really one, I don't really even like highlighter that often, that much anymore. And if I do want a highlighter, I want it to be like creamy and have like dimension to it and kind of, I don't know. I feel like when I put it on my cheeks, it just really looked chalky on there and it kind of like created that little stripe that I don't like when it comes to highlighters. Um, I was able to kind of save it on like the bridge of my nose, but on like my cheekbones, I absolutely didn't like it. Um, so yeah, that I just don't care for. I actually did like the cream gel liner colors. I think these are both really pretty, but I do feel like ColourPop has some similar colors in their cream gel liner lineup already, but I, between the two, I do like um, the purple one more. Actually, okay, earlier I changed my mind. I was saying I didn't really like the face glosses because I don't really like it, and I do feel like if like, my hair gets stuck to it, it's kind of like like a regular gloss on your lips like you know how your hair gets stuck to it I feel like it kind of does that on my cheeks but if you put like just the right amount I feel like it actually looks really pretty and it does kind of give your face this really pretty glow um so I actually I changed my mind from during the tutorial part to like the end part of the video because I feel like my cheeks do have like this little glowy dewy look to them and I think the packaging on this one as well is really cute this gloss is actually a win for me I do like this it has like a really pretty shift to it that really does add some dimension and it just makes the cheeks look really really pretty and like dewy. Lip duos are pretty. They weren't really anything that I was super crazy for. Like I don't see myself reaching for these again. Um, the gloss I do like but I feel like I have some other glosses that will pretty much do the same thing. I just don't really care for the lip duos but definitely my least favorite thing in the collection are the highlighters. I just don't really like the way that they sat on my skin or at least the one that I use because the other one's a little bit more pink and I don't I, I don't see myself using 
uh, a highlighter like this. It's too dark for me to be a highlighter. And again, it's kind of that same formula where it's just kind of flat and like almost chalky like. Um, it's my biggest thing is also too like the other collection had like really cute packaging and like the lenticular kind of palettes. Whereas this one, I think the packaging is cute, but it doesn't really do anything for me. I also, one of my like biggest pet peeves too, I looking at the highlighters and I wish that like if they were going to do this kind of thing, I wish like the cats were like looking at each other or something but they're just kind of like in the same spot i don't know i don't know if that's just like a me thing but i wish that they were like facing each other you know but that's just me um i think yeah definitely my favorite thing out of the entire collection is the palette and the face gloss and then maybe the cream gel liners um but other than that i don't think anything else really caught my eye and i don't see myself reaching for it again except for maybe the palette like I don't think I reached for anything again besides the palette to be honest so I think if you like the palette I would pick it up because it is really cute it's really pretty and I can definitely see myself reaching for that again most to everything else in the collection that pearlized glitter on my lid is a standout for me I think it's so pretty that blue is really pretty I just really like the palette a lot which is funny because I didn't think I was gonna like the palette that much but I guess compared to everything else, that one is what stands out to me, but I think that's pretty much it. Expecting to be more excited about this collection, but unfortunately, this was a little bit of a um, disappointment, I guess. I just wanted to see, I don't know, like, especially the last collection, like, that was such a hit, like, and this one, I'm just kind of like, it was okay, I guess, um, and there was some products that I just really didn't like in the collection, and that I, I feel like that's very rare for me like I feel like I can always find the good in a lot of products and see like a use for them but there are some products in here that I just know I will never reach for again so um yeah anyways it is what it is um I hope that this video was helpful for you I hope that it helped you in deciding if you wanted to pick anything up from this collection but yeah if you did like this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if not subscribed already and I will see you guys in my next video bye